Hi, this is Noma Dimitri, and these are free-ranging sheep. Um, they're exactly the sort of lamb you want to have because look, they're out here grazing on absolutely fresh grass in a pristine environment of the Alps. We're in France. Um, this sort of thing exists a lot in France, especially in faraway areas such as this one, uh, where animal raising is done by very, very, very small farmers who have their own sheep and who take care of them year round and then sell them for to end up in your plate. I know it's kind of cruel, but that's what happens, so we might as well admit it. These free ranging sheep, how does it work? Basically, what happens is. Um, the farmer takes the sheep on various plots of land uh, which starts uh, which starts as being very green like look at this one this is very very green then what he does is he installs very quickly this is done very very quickly a solar powered electric fence which you can see right here right in front of me i'll go even closer so this is the solar powered electric fence these guys are all here they're grazing inside their electric fence that means they won't jump out tomorrow the farmer will come back will install a new electric fence in this green bit here right over here and he will move all of these guys from this kind of eaten grass area to another one they eat these guys all together they eat an enormous amount of land all this land used to be green yesterday and they just kind of eat it in one day and then they have to move to the new one problem of course is the wolf um in Europe, the wolf was virtually eliminated, but with environmentalism now, um, there is a lot of push to reintroduce the wolf to the mountains of Europe. The idea of having the wolf back is wonderful because it's the top predator, it's important for the ecosystem, um, and it's a noble animal, and this is indeed its territory as well. So we live together with the wild animals and all that. So the problem with the wolf when he comes in here is, is that instead of just helping himself to one of these guys, so the wolf manages, the wolves are very, very, very smart. So they manage to go through the electric fence somehow. They jump, they find a weakness in the system, they go inside. So you say, okay, we're sharing the environment with the wolf. The wolf is gonna just eat one of these guys and go home, it's enough. The meat in one of these guys is enough to keep a wolf going for a long time. What happens instead, and here is the tragedy, and here is the big, big problem. What happens instead of that is that the wolf is going to kill about 40 of these guys by taking little bites of many of them uh, in some kind of blood orgy. So the wolf is not just eating here, but he's actually decimating um, this group. Uh, what's going to happen is that these guys, which are also going to be terrified, there is the mother still, these guys, which are also terrified by the wolf, a lot of them will actually abort, and some of them will even die of fear. Um, the mothers will stop being able to bring milk, uh, and basically a single wolf in one attack in one night can end up decimating up to 60 of these guys. So what goes on is that there is legislation to protect the wolf, so the farmers are not allowed to kill the wolf, but on the other hand, the farmers break the law and kill the wolves, uh, when they come down. If we could somehow convince the wolves to stay up there on the mountain and eat the wild sheep that are there, that'd be absolutely perfect. But they're looking for an easy kill and unfortunately these guys are here and they are a very, very easy kill. It's like an entire restaurant of sheep waiting for the wolf to eat. Noma Dimitri from uh, high up in the mountains next to the sheep. Take care. Happy trails.